So hey guys welcome back in Korean Mangal YT and in this video we are going to make our own puzzle game It's just a simple puzzle game So let's start and before do that you can basically check my Google Play store account So there are some games available so you can check them and give it a try So now let's start making So first of all my plan is we'll be create a simple puzzle game So puzzle would be uh, we'll be get a basically a cube and we can basically you know just control him anywhere like we can movement we can move the cube in a game then just a thing that we are at target box that at that target box if we can get that box in this target so there's a door will be open so basically very simple system but we'll be learn some logics we will learn some blueprint codes and some systems okay now let's start first of all we want that this cube that we can move that so for that we'll be set simulation physics and mass make sure that is enabled and once this thing done then will we save this thing so now if i click on play basically i can move the uh, cube that was basically nice okay now let me set up my player start from this location so basically from my player he can basically drag and drop this cube okay now we want this cube that uh, we want to set a target that others are you know something so for that what I do basically I create a blueprint called actor and I set this at here that location okay so that is basically my location so at here I will add basically simple a box collision for verify that uh, how we basically you know because we want that why I need to basically drag and drop that cube so basically I said that we hide in game is disabled so basically we can see the collisions so now I need to read uh, increase this thing so kind of like uh, three maybe that is uh, I think enough good for this one mm, yeah that is uh, quite an, a big cube okay so we have basically a simple structure so now we want to create this thing so unfortunately we can't use this thing like a default so what you need to do basically will be create a, another actor that is basically our this cube so basically we will be set it then um, I set the name that cube and inside of that will be basically add a cube okay and yeah simulation physics and make sure mask that is basically our parent okay now let's basically drag and drop it here now play okay we have the cube so we can basically drag and drop him and we can get the into in this cube okay so we want that when we throw him in this cube or in this location there's a door should be open so first of all we need to uh, verify that are there's a blueprint is casting or not is there's a begin overlap so what will we do we will be set cast to cube okay and then what i do then if it's done so we can basically control something so now we need to create the door basically so basically at the door will be basically you know just open that door so let's create a new that actor that is t double or door and at here simply what i do add a cube and let's just make it some smaller it should be like a you know door i want to like a you know big door kind of like that something okay so like that I think this location is enough good. Okay, now we I want a basically a plane for this one, so it should be like a door because I really want a door. Okay, so I want that. Once that uh, we basically hit that, okay. So at that uh, timeline, the door should be become open. Okay, like that. I just want that. So just give like that compile and save now at event graph i will simply create a custom event so we can basically call that event so that open okay at here what i do basically make sure that is in a separate not with connected to each other okay so that is basically our plane that is the main one so we just get the plane and set world a location basically we'll be set our location nothing else okay now i want a timeline okay so just simply create a timeline or basically add timeline and let's give it that time now what will we do at here 
that will double click and will be create a fruit that speed let's set it to uh, zero to z uh, zero then i want one more timeline that is um, zero i uh, can't give zero we need to give something value so let's give that value to two and then set it to value uh one okay i think that is uh, enough for this one and make sure that is a timeline not more than that is two so it will be complete goodly compile and save now we have basically the split now simply it will be split this thing i don't care what is the location so whatever do uh, get world location and basically what i want to do only change basically the up and down so as you can see that is the location uh, let's make it like that so it, i think that is easy to navigate yeah so basically as you can see if i check it here what to do rise the door let's drag and drop him okay so basically as you can see what i want that if i just control the y it should be a close and open okay that's i basically want okay so what will we do first of all i will get the value as you can see uh, that is if i for changing this thing i need to basically change the value this one it will be work so just simply go to graph and simply i will be connected with the y and the x and z will be okay and set it to the update and edit this thing with the play from start now compile and save so as you can see it's now it will be work if it's not work will be changed up to some change okay now i we need to ca uh, cast this thing in our location so in begin pay will be get all actor from class and that will be search that t double or tour that is basically our class reference so tour then from that will be get a copy so it will be get the reference and promote a variable so player ref now we have the reference now simply connect it with this thing and then we'll be get our reference variable from that will be called our custom uh, event that is basically open so i tell search that open and here's this then we'll be connected with this thing now simply compile and save now let's try that it's work or not let's throw our this cube into this uh, collision and if it's working so our puzzle will be work then we can modify this thing yes it's work the door is open but that is quite a super speed as you can see and there's a only one set material that's why it's looking like that so we can fix this also uh, for fixing this one set material uh, we need to go to in basically the material and inside of material we can enable the two side material and save this thing now there's a material problem will be gone just wait okay to share compiling now let's go to tour let's go to timeline let's change some value that let's give it value one and the timeline it should be okay but okay it's good compile and saved um maybe i can also change a bit so uh Z so let's give that x okay y okay let's give it in a z balance save now let's try again yeah it's working that's i want but we want some more so for do that basically update our timeline so we'll be set it to one two quickly so two by two that is that will be good so for seeing this thing quickly we can add like that and set this thing also to and compile and saved okay now let's click on play yeah that is quite enough now good so i hope you understand thanks so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video